today we are down in Camillus, New York at the Canal Park, right behind us, Sim Store. There's a boat over there. We're and gonna ride it. Yes, and we're super excited. It's four dollars for adults. I'll leave some links down in the description. <gasps> Subscribe to our channel and click like if you like this. Come along, let's go. So before our boat tour left, we had a little time to spare. So we took a look around the Sims store, which is a museum, actually. And there are tons of artifacts from the canal days and days gone by, but honestly, way too much to show in this one video. So if you are in town and doing this, you should definitely stop in and see some of this stuff. Really incredible. Get your boat right in there close, tie up with offload goods or load goods from local farmers or um, offload goods or people here. Because you have the road right here, so that's where your wagon goes. And you'll see there's yellow marks on the, the wall. There's a bow back there to stir it over there. That's the uh, outline of a boat from the uh, large Erie Canal that were uh, 98 feet long, about 17 feet wide. And they would draft about six and a half, six, six and a half feet of water. A sim store here is a replica of a store that used to be two miles down to our east, the way we're going. It used to be down by Route 173. It was a canal side store. There's pictures inside where you can see the, what the store used to look like. You'll see the stonework there is original to the time of the canal. It's uh, put there to prevent erosion from washing away the earth and banks. The boats were 98 feet long, they could carry 150 to 200 tons worth of goods. You could still have two mules pulling that boat. You'll see that we're going around the bend here. We're, we're going around the hill right here, and we're going around that hill. The boat was 10 to 15 years thereabouts, all depends on how roughly they were treated. They had a, a, a living quarters on the back. And they had a big hole in the living quarters with about 12 by 12 cabins. Yeah. Right ahead of you is the Thompson Farm. The old canal came off, I was pointing, it was in the hillside over here. It came along right in this area here, because it's hillside here. It came along, and then the old canal basically went straight for those, those barns there. And then when it got in about the middle of the field behind that blue sign, it took a 90 degree bend and we'll show you where it crossed this canal. So the old canal was much more windy than the new improved version. The old canal was 600 or 363 miles long. This improved version was 13 miles less, 350 miles long. And you might think nowadays that 13 miles isn't a lot, but go out and walk 13 miles. You know, they'll go the half, half day or a quarter day's journey for them. So we're about ready to cross the uh, Nine Mile Creek Aqueduct here. The aqueduct was uh, from 1842, and it was uh, part of the reconstruction here. You're gonna be able to look out on the, over on your right hand side, you'll see the uh, Nine Mile Creek flowing. We're gonna turn around and come back, so if you're on this side, you're gonna look over that side, you'll see it. Um, Nine Mile Creek is gonna be below us, we're crossing over it now. This is basically the same if we, the Erie Canal is a road, and we had to cross the creek. Uh, we would have built a bridge. We have a water bridge here that's just carrying us across here. So it's a stone and timber structure. And we're, what is it, about four or five feet over Nine Mile Creek. And a wooden, wooden think of wooden bathtub. You'll see that uh, Nine Mile Creek is running muddy. It's running full because all the water we've been having. So in the old days, the only other option to having an aqueduct was basically cross that canal at level, cross the stream at level, so they would have had a lock there. They would have locked down, they would have pulled the boat across Nine Mile Creek, and then locked back up into the canal on the other side. But when the water's flowing real steady like that, it makes it very difficult for the boats to cross that natural body of water. And the nice thing about this aqueduct, it was out here in the middle of nowhere, after the canal was abandoned, basically just sat there as a curiosity and uh, never got taken apart. Nobody ever came and stole all the stone out of it. So it was there so we could rebuild it and uh, put it back to navigation. And this is the only 
one of a couple in the country that you can actually take a boat ride across the Gulf Canal Aqueduct. There, there's, when this canal, when the park was built, so after 1817, the canal was abandoned, and it pretty much let go back to nature. In the 1970s, uh, the people in the village decided they wanted to save them. Uh, when I first started here in 94, the boat ride just basically ended right there, and we got out and we walked down to the aqueduct and uh, talked about our plans. A great boat. So. They were uh, Canals were towpath canals, but about in the 1850s when the, the Indians started going, steam power started going under railroads, and they started you know, developing that, refining that, um, they tried to put steam engines on boats, boats were moving about the same time as the canal going on. This canal ran out to Montezuma, to uh, Savannah, out to Clyde. This here, in the central part of New York State, they, they refined the canal so they started using the Seneca River. So the canal, so the Clyde River, Seneca River, Lake on uh, Oneida gets used as a canal nowadays. And this canal is basically abandoned. They were, their rules of the road were, and we were just debating this earlier, it was the fully loaded boat that had way over the so in this area, the current was going that way. So any boat that was coming to the west would have right of way over the boat going east. So all they did was the boat that had the right of way would hold close to the boat back. And this would be able to keep on. The other boat would just steer over to the far side of the canal. So this is a town park, uh, Bill's Town Park. It's about 400 acres here. We have 13 miles of walking trails now. We have four miles of water canal, and those three miles of the sort of dry canal um, to the west of us. Um, it goes down to the west of park and it goes up to the town of uh, the border. Like I said, I don't know if there are black people in the museum or not, but there's a lot to see in there. We saw a sign for a canoe over there. We bring it all the way. Yeah, yeah paddle boats, uh, kayakers. You can go this way or you can go that way. So, yeah, you can go either way. Yeah. Just no uh, electric engine they allow, but no power bus go that way. <laughs> it's so peaceful. Yeah, Just yeah like I wasn't even expecting that. Yeah. With a nice little breeze. It is 84 degrees outside right now, and it was so nice yeah. on that boat. It's a very good break. And, and genuinely the, really cool. Yeah, yeah really interesting. Uh, our guide knew uh, a lot about the place and just uh, definitely a recommend. Yeah. Thumbs up to that. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel once again. We like to do this stuff and we'd love to have you along. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next time. Bye! -bye. Bye.